Okay class, ang topic naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa variation. Ito yung ating weeks 1 to 2, quarter 2 in Mathematics 9. And now, let's talk about the definition of variation. What is variation? Variation is a relationship between two or more variables in such a way that has increases or decreases from one quantity to another quantity, increasing or decreasing is a definite way. Number two, we have direct square variation. Ang kanya namang formula ay y equals kx squared. Halos similar siya sa direct variation, yun nga lang, ang ating x ay may exponent na 2. Okay, now let's proceed to our second type of variation that is what we called as direct square variation. It states that y varies directly to the square of x. At ito ang ating gagamitin formula or standard form, y equals kx squared. Again, ang ginamit natin variable dyan na y at x ay pwede nating baguhin. Pwedeng maiba, hindi laging y at x. Sometimes, ibang variable o letters ang ginagamit natin. Nagkataon lang, kaya ito ang ating ginamit para alam nyo na ang differences o yung pagkakaiba-iba ng paggamit ng ating equation of variation. Again, take note, where k is the constant of variation, laging ang ginagamit natin constant of variation ay letter k. Again, ang ating formula sa direct square variation ay y equals kx squared. Ituloy na natin ang ating example. Example of direct square variation. Number one, y varies directly as the square of x if y equals 27 when x equals 3. Our target here, letter A, find the constant of variation. Letter B, determine the equation of direct square variation. Letter C, what is x when y is 81? Kung mapapansin natin, basta magaling kayong mag-substitute ng values at mag-simplify ng fraction, mag-compute, mag-multiply, napakadali nyo makukuha ang hinahanap sa ating variation. Okay, let's start with the first one y varies directly as the square of x if y equals 27 when x equals 3. Letter A, find the constant of variation. Again, as of now, our type of variation is direct square variation. Again, we need to write the original formula, y equals kx squared. Kailangan natin isulat muna ang ating formula para makuha natin ang ating hinahanap. Since the value of y is 27 and the value of x equals 3, you only have to do is to substitute the values. 27, ang value ng y, wherein ang value ng x dito ay 3. Then 27 equals 9k. Bakit naging 9k? Because 3 squared is equivalent to 3 times 3. How many times you multiply by itself? That is the function of exponent 2. That will become 9k. Then, what will happen? 27 over 9 equals k. k na lamang ang natira sa right side dahil nag-divide both sides tayo by 9. That is 9 divided by 9, cancel or 1, k na lamang ang matitira. 27 divided by 9, the answer is 3 equals k. Therefore, the value of k equals 3 or the value of k is 3. That is what we call as the constant of variation. How about in letter B? Determine the equation of direct square variation. Same given, y varies directly as, as the square of x, the value of y is 27, and the value of x is 3. Since nakuha na natin yung value ng k kanina, k equals 3, Sulat uli natin ang ating standard form or yung formula ng ating direct square variation. y equals kx squared. Huwag natin kakalimutang isulat lagi yan para hindi tayo malito. Then, you only have to do is to substitute. Then, you only have to do is to substitute. The value of k is 3. Therefore, the equation of direct square variation is y equals 3x squared. 
Kung mapapansin natin naman ngayon, ano ang difference or kaibahan ng ating direct square variation sa direct variation only? Ito naman ay makakabuo ng ating quadratic curve. Okay, ang magiging ang magiging ang graph naman nito kapag i natin ay parabola. Kasi siya ay nagkaroon ng quadratic curve. Kasi meron tayong highest degree or exponent which is 2. Quadratic ang ating mabubuo. No. Maaring ang curve natin ay downward or upward. Depende kung ano ang magiging uh, matatamaan ng ating weight. Since positive naman siya, ang ating k is positive 3, therefore, ang magiging, uh, magiging graph natin ay uh, upward kasi positive yung value ng 3. How about letter C? What is x when y is 81? Again, sulat uli natin ang ating formula, y equals kx squared. Bakit ko inuulit-ulit na laging mahalaga or importanteng isulat lagi ang ating formula dahil para hindi tayo malito sa mga different types of variation. Again, y equals kx squared is for direct square variation. Then, ang value daw ng x natin dito ay hinahanap natin. Ang value ng y ay 81. Substitute lang natin, 81 equals 3x squared. Ang value ng y dito ay 81. Samantalang ang value na kinuha natin kanina sa k ay 3. Makakaroon tayo ngayon ng 81 equals 3x squared. Okay, pag nag-substitute tayo, ayun, divide both sides by 3. x squared na lang matitira sa right side. 81 divided by 3 is 27. 27 equals x squared. Since quadratic siya, meron tayong exponent na 2. We need to rewrite as x squared equals 27. Symmetric property, pag binaligtad natin, same lang din naman ang magiging sagot. Then, naglagay tayo ng square root or radical sign both sides para makancel natin ang exponent na 2. Base na lamang na x ang matitira. What will happen? x equals square root of 27. Since x equals square root of 27, ang 27 ay tinatawag nating composite radicand kasi meron ba tayong factor? Factor na perfect square, which is the factors are 9 and 3. Square root of 9 is 3, lumabas na siya, yun na yung root, then the square root of 3. Therefore, the value of x is 3 the square root of 3.